On this vote, the yeas are 352, the nays are 65. Well, there's something you don't see every day. The bill is passed. Overwhelming agreement on a House vote. On this occasion, requiring TikTok to sever ties to the Chinese Communist Party or face a US ban. The day after we introduced our bill, TikTok went into panic mode. They lied to their users, saying Congress was going to ban TikTok using young kids as political pawns. In the run-up to the vote, TikTok attempted to mobilize some of its army of 170 million American users to lobby Congress against the legislation. But in doing so, TikTok unintentionally highlighted one of the very arguments against the video hosting service. That Beijing and ByteDance, TikTok's Chinese owner, could use the platform to interfere in US politics. TikTok sort of proved our point yesterday. We had kids. It was compelling kids to call members of Congress, in some cases threatening suicide. Following the vote on March 13th, TikTok's CEO updated users with his take on developments. This legislation, if signed into law, will lead to a ban of TikTok in the United States. This is false. If signed into law, TikTok will face a choice of divesting from ByteDance or losing access to American users. In 2019, Grindr, the gay dating app, was given a similar choice by the Committee on Foreign Investment. Its Chinese owners decided to sell. This bill gives more power to a handful of other social media companies. It will also take billions of dollars out of the pockets of creators and small businesses. It will put more than 300,000 American jobs at risk, and it will take away your TikTok. Back in 2020, when Donald Trump ordered ByteDance to spin off TikTok, the platform entertained an acquisition by Microsoft. And in recent weeks, US investors have again expressed an interest in buying TikTok. Yet the platform claims its US business can't be spun off. The question is, why not? Do ByteDance employees in Beijing have access to American data. Yes, the Chinese engineers do have access to global data. You have access to global data. Uh, we have heard. Not concerns. storage. No, storage has always been in Virginia and Singapore. The point is that ByteDance already runs a version of TikTok in China called Douyin. So if, as TikTok claims, American user data is housed on US servers overseen by Oracle engineers, why can't the company similarly silo off and sell its US TikTok business? The issue may be that TikTok's algorithms are controlled by ByteDance engineers in China who answer to Beijing. I have seen no evidence that the Chinese government has access to that data. After Mr. Trump previously tried to force TikTok's sale, he later lost in court. There was an ultimatum to sell it. But I think what ultimately happened is, is that once China got involved, really put a poison pill in the deal for the algorithm not to be sold. Beijing placed export restrictions on its algorithms and today continues to treat them as a state secret. This is really uh, very much about the CCP and their ability to own uh, data and use that data. Uh, 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 nefariously against our national security interests and against our citizenry. It's another reason not to believe TikTok's denials that its algorithms promote anti-American content and suppress posts that the CCP doesn't like. The possibility for dangerous propaganda is too immense to allow one of our foremost adversaries to have this control over what is increasingly becoming the dominant news platform in America. At home, Americans can take action if their First Amendment rights are violated. But they have no legal recourse if CCP officials violate speech rights or privacy by searching personal data. That kind of uh, influence operation are extraordinarily difficult to detect, which is part of what makes the national security concerns represented by, uh, by TikTok so significant. Today, Donald Trump has said banning TikTok would anger young people and help Facebook grow stronger. The answer to authoritarianism is not more authoritarianism. But while US big tech companies may lean left, they aren't motivated to harm the country. Our intention is for TikTok to continue to operate but not under the control of the Chinese Communist Party. The House bill now moves to the Senate, where its fate is uncertain. If they pass it, I'll sign it. 